Then Hummel, Fletcher, taking him out in six. And this, the low point of Fletcher's career. Now he is trying to turn it. And in his last fight, this past April, he scored a 10-round decision over Jimmy Sykes, leading to today's matchup against John Mugabe. What happens to John the Beast Mugabe? I'm going to try to knock him out in six rounds. I'm going to walk straight to him. If he lasts under the pressure of him, the power of Frank the Animal Fletcher, then he's a good fighter. We're closing in on the animal going up against the beast right now. Let's go to Bill McAtee in our studio in New York. Mark, thank you very much. 2,500 plus standing room at the Oasis Ballroom in Tampa. Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. And we're getting set for the animal and the beast. John the Beast Mugabe, the 23-year-old out of Uganda, with a record of 22 and 0, all 22 by knockout, ranked second among junior middleweights by the WBC. And here is Frank the Animal Fletcher out of Philadelphia, record of 18 and 4, one draw, 12 knockouts. His last fight last April at Atlantic City, winning that 10-round decision over Jimmy Sykes. Looking to bounce back from the knockout loss to Juan Roldan last November in Las Vegas. Stopped in the sixth round by Roldan in devastating fashion. Fletcher, the one-time USBA, United States Boxing Association, middleweight champion. And the crowd responding to the entrance of John Mugabe. treatment as he makes his way. John the Beast Mugabe, who is now living here in Tampa and has emerged as a big favorite. as he arrived here in Tampa. Now that's as I left here. We'll be back with a fight in a moment. And Fletcher have made their way to the ring and we're set for the introductions. Let's go to Mark Barrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Alessi Promotions presents the Wild Kingdom. Ten rounds, middleweight. Your special referee for this event from the Yonkers, New York, Joe Cortez. Cortez. Here are the principals first in the red corner to my right, wearing the white trunks, blue trim. He weighs 160 pounds from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. His professional record. Yet to involve the judges. 
But I will tell you that the scoring is on the 10-point bus system. Referee Joe Cortez does not get involved in the scoring. It'll be handled by the three judges. Three knockdown rule is in effect. Fighter going down, goes to the positive the corner. What low punches, kidney punches, and rabbit punches. And the reach Other advantage only to Mugabe. Slight run. height Fight advantage to John Mugabe. Right, Frank the, the animal, while in his prime, a search and destroy style fighter. Swarming, aggressive, when sharp, looking for the early KO, putting the head down, boring in from bell to bell. John Mugabe looking always for that early KO, and he has stopped 14 of his opponents in the first or second round. He comes off the second round quickie over Vampire Johnson just a couple of months ago. Scheduled for 10, and at the 160-pound middleweight limit. Right off the bat, Animal is not swarming in there like he said he was going to do. He's showing a little respect for the punching power of Mugabe. with his punches that's devastating with a puncher like Mugabe who can hook as you come in remember animal Fletcher style is to swarm in that means just to run in arms flailing throwing punches trying to smother Mugabe before he gets his off he's not doing that he's keeping that distance between them that distance is punching distance that distance is what Mugabe needs to get off clean shots Mugabe opening as he did against Vampire Johnson by just checking things out. Mugabe's face, a mask, an expressionless mask. He has not shown any emotion whatsoever. He's just coolly going about his business. Frank, on the other hand, looks apprehensive. Fletcher's not fighting with his wild abandon and brio that he did before. He looks slightly intimidated. And Mugabe continues to cut the right hand, flashing the left. Fletcher does not want to get trapped. And those are very loose strokes. Those punches are the foul thrown by Mugabe. And the crowd responds. on the ropes animal is obliging why he wants to go along those ropes i'll never know that's the place that mugabe does his best work that's what he's got to do back away as soon as his feels up his back touch those ropes he's got to move away from there get in the middle of the ring and move around mugabe seeming content oh, to feel him out the hook thrown by the southpaw fletcher getting in Hooks by Mugabe just missing. Final seconds. First round is Mugabe. He did land the right hand. We'll be right back. After 18 holes on a hot afternoon. Mugabe out for round two. 22 and 0. All 22 by knockout. His last defeat taking place as an amateur. Fighting for the gold of the 1980 Moscow Olympics. And now Mugabe going to work with authority on Frank Fletcher. Frank again, back to the ropes, getting hit. And there is Lucille Fletcher, the mother of Frank the Animal. Fletcher's corner, exhorting him, move around, stick the jab out, don't get hung on the ropes. All good advice, but John Abiz Mugabe relentlessly follows you under the ropes once he gets the advantage. Opening minute, second round, right hand grazing Fletcher.
John McGovern getting to Frank Fletcher in trouble, trying to get off the ropes. McGovern with the combination, and Fletcher, let's see this Cortez, he's trying to help Fletcher through the ropes to get back into the action, halfway through, second round, Fletcher was actually fortunate that he ended up between the ropes. Fletcher not learning his lesson with those ropes. As soon as that back touches the ropes, on comes John to beat Mugabe. And he's tough on the ropes. And the chant of peace from the crowd as Mugabe landed the pink right hand. Good shot by Animal Fletcher. Good left hook that landed right on Mugabe. It stopped him for a second. He's got to get off these ropes. Less than a minute left. Round two. Mugabe getting down a serious work. Holman with that right hand. Good left by Fletcher. Fletcher keeps catching Mugabe with a left hook, but it doesn't have much power in it now. Time remaining. Second round. Left hook again by Fletcher. Got in on Mugabe. Again, the left hook by Animal Fletcher. Nothing on it, though. Not enough to stop Mugabe from coming off. Mugabe wide open, although hurting Fletcher, but he continues to leave himself vulnerable. Final seconds, second round. So that's the end of round two. Second round, John Mugabe able to land, particularly with the right hand, but also constantly open. And we saw James Hard Rock Green get to Mugabe, providing Mugabe with his toughest test. And Fletcher also was able to get him with that left hand. He's got to improve his defense if he's going to fight for the title because he's getting hit each one of these fights with hooks that are thrown by both Hard Rock Green and, in this case, Animal Fletcher. Animal just doesn't have that much on the punches because he's sustaining hard, hard punishment from Mugabe. Combination by Mugabe. Fletcher was able to get a couple of left hands in, and we're on to round three. Marv Albert, Freddy Pacheco from Tampa, Florida. Once again, Fletcher with the left hand. And the roundhouse right by Mugabe. Mugabe with the left. Fletcher now knows he can land that hook when he wants. It's just that he's got to pay a fearful toll when he throws it. He's just hoping one of those will be the ticket to slow up John Mugabe. He's certainly landing him right where he's aiming him, right on the chin of John Mugabe. And Fletcher's corner screaming, get off first. It has been Mugabe getting off first to this point. Both men losing a lot of fluid. Sweat and water pouring off both men. The ring lights are close and they're very hot. in the corner, Fletcher was able to answer. The feint by Mugabe, but not able to connect. Halfway through, round three, Fletcher continues to all times and then four. destruction this John Mugabe is. He gets you in that corner and it's bad news. Although Frank the Animal is not having any of it. He knows he can hit him with that hook and he's been swinging it. There he goes three times in a row, four times in a row. Last for a minute left. Right? It's over. 
as if he has no other punch in his armory except that left. And again, Fletcher trapped. My music keeps me going in more ways than one. I have Frank Fletcher on the verge of closing, but much confidence in the corner of Fletcher, who has been able to land with that left hook on Magabi. This corner thinks he's on the verge of a knockout. He may well be. Depends on which side you're sitting on. He's, Frank has opened the round with an amazing display of freshness here. He was so, so weary at the end of the third round. Fletcher able to land on Mugabe. Mugabe back with that hard right hand. Not much body shots here. Everything going to the head. Mugabe fighting coolly. He seems to go hard as soon as he sees Fletcher go to the ropes. Closing fast on Frank the Animal Fletcher. Looks like it may pop open. A lot of fluid there. Fletcher showing some movement, trying to move around, and he would survive much longer if he did that and stay away from those ropes. There he is again in the corner. Combination by Mugabe. His timing has been a bit off uh, to this point. Using the jab and coming on with the right, as you just saw, halfway through. This is round four, slated for ten. Mugabe picking his shots now, almost as if he's not in a hurry. Could be a mistake. Cipion, and right here he's stopped by John Mugabe. We'll be back here in Tampa in a moment. The great cars of Europe priced far out of reach. On the winner and still undefeated by technical knockout, John the Beast Mugabe. Mugabe. The official time. Two minutes, three seconds, round four. For a moment, the referee, Joe Cortez, appeared as if he would give it the mandatory eight, and that changed his mind as Fletcher was walloped through the ropes. That's the big punch, the right hand. Fletcher about to go down, another right, the left, to the ropes. And uh, here is where Cortez is checking it over as Mugabe continues to pummel Fletcher between the ropes. 
the doctor, you might, there he is, darting uh, from the middle of your screen. The fight had not been called at this point. Cortez was uncertain at first he was going to give that mandatory, and then, as he's counting it out, he changed his mind all over. Two minutes, three seconds, round four. John Mugabe making it a record of 23-0, and all 23 by KO. Let's go to the ring. Here's Ferdy. John, congratulations. First, did, you, did that left hook that he kept hitting you with hurt? No, no. That gave me a petition, you know, to fight now. Do you think that the ropes being so loose, he was foolish to go to the ropes when you attacked him on the ropes? No, I was dangerous, you know, that's why I went on the rope. So I said, I must finish him on the rope because uh, I, I didn't want him to come, you know, to me again. You didn't want him to come to you, you no, finished him on the ropes? No. All right, Mickey Duff, the manager, have managed him now to 23 and 0. You must be thinking title. I'm thinking middleweight title, junior middleweight title. I think I'd enter him for Miss Universe, any title. As long as somebody wants to give me a title fight. Mr. Hagler, Mr. Hearns, the WBA, they can't avoid him forever. He is the most exciting and the best fighter in the junior middleweight and the middleweight division. Please give him a shot because he deserves it. Thank you very much, Mickey. George Francis, the trainer, you've trained.